Hello to all three of you. Now, to understand the selection for this uh, semi final, what can you tell us about this game? Uh, hello to you all. The team is going well. Everybody is on the same page. We've had a good preparation. We are prepared as we want to be. And now we are waiting for the game. Beyond this week, it is what we've been doing over the last year and a half, and especially over the last three months, our preparation. We have faith. Hello. I will repeat what Felipe said. We've had we had a very short week. We had to adapt. We're very concentrated, very focused. We know we have to be focused tomorrow, and there is no secret. A question for Felipe. Uh, after the 2007 and to 2015 experience, what is the, does this game represent in the history of the Pumas? I don't like comparisons too much. They're not the same teams. They're not the same moments. I think what we need to see is the chance to play a semi-final. A, you don't play a World Cup semi-final every day. We've prepared for this. We believe we will succeed in putting all chances on our side. We know what we want. For Argentina rugby, yes, of course it's important. It's just a World Cup, but it is the World Cup. We're amongst the four best teams in the world. We want to show this day after day. But this competition is important because it defines us as such. It's important for all of Argentine rugby and Argentina can be proud. Hello, Felipe. Since the start, the team has evolved quite a lot. How did you manage to get stronger to get that work rate in the second half against Wales? Well, our approach has always been the same. It's your perception of might have changed, but our state of mind has always remained the same. It's not the work we did this week that counts. It's the work we've been doing putting in for a long time. We've had to trust a process, not just a result. It's not if we win, we are the best. If we lose, we are the worst. No, there is a whole load of work that goes in behind that. Since the first defeat, yes, at that point, the result was important, but we continued working as we worked before. We didn't change a thing. We knew we had to continue to improve. We had to overcome obstacles and bring all possible improvements to the team. But both the staff and the players really had an unbelievable exemplary attitude. They never questioned are the work we've been doing for months and months. And that's why I'm talking about it being your perception.
of the three changes. What is the importance of the three changes in a team at number nine in particular? And what do you think of the New Zealand forwards? In terms of the changes, we are lucky enough to have three top-class scrum halves. They are competing against each other at each training session. It gives us problems in the selection and we've made a strategic choice. Uh, we won't go into the details. It is a strategic issue. It has nothing to do with Willy or with Bertanou. It's uh, something the managers and the players uh, deal with. And I need to highlight the way that the competition between them and the luck that we have in having three of them is very huge. Hello. Uh, an assessment of the New Zealand pack. Well, there's not much to analyse. It's clear they are one of the best forward packs in the world. They are strong in a scrum. They are strong in a line outs in all their set pieces. What analysis do you want me to do? They are complete. They dominate all aspects of the game. We will have to be good enough. It's very clear. Uh, could you give us your thoughts on the fans coming from Argentina and those coming from other parts of Europe, the people from you here from your club and the importance of this for Argentina? We very much feel it. We feel their support deeply in all games. It's something very important. For me personally, it really helps me. This support and the clubs, well, that's clear. They are a fundamental part of Argentinian rugby. And yes, it is very, very important. The energy that they give us is very positive. As Lucio says, we are very happy, we're very proud. It is much more than a team. It is a family. It is all the people behind us who help us daily in order for us to be able to give the best of ourselves. Hello, a question for Felipe. Even if Pablo Matera is injured, he knows the New Zealanders very well. He played at, with Crusaders for a year. What can he bring to the table? Pablo, by his very nature, is a leader. His mere presence brings us a lot. He will, unfortunately, not be able to be on the field, but he will be 
to have him here with us is huge in terms of the analysis of his experience. In one word, his experience. He transmits this experience to other players who haven't lived through, who haven't been through what he's been through. We're very, very happy that he was able to stay with us. A question for Lucio. Tomorrow will be uh, is a very important game, and Saturday will be a very important weekend for your club. In our city, it is important. How are you going to experience this weekend, minute by minute, and are you thinking about all that? I try to enjoy it. I'm trying not to think too far ahead and to not to play the game in advance because that would make me anxious, would make me tense. And what I want to be able to do is enjoy it, enjoy everything that I can control. It's what's happening to us tomorrow is fabulous. And for the club, it is a, going through hard times and I'm in close contact. Pablo is doing a great job with the kids and I hope everything will go all right. That would be great. However, I'm trying to sum up, I'm trying to enjoy each moment. Good afternoon. Felipe, how do you Do you transmit the? How do you place this game? Uh, the current Pumas compared to Pumas across history in two thousand and five, for example. Well, what I say and what counts is the twenty twenty three Pumas. Next year it will be the twenty twenty four Pumas. Of course, I lived through ninety nine, two thousand and seven, two thousand and fifteen. These are all chapters in the rich history of the Pumas. And there are some chapters that are more pleasant than others. But for me, these are completely different stories. Each team had its story, had its history. Each team experienced it differently. We do not repeat. We have to transmit, hand down the experience. But there are players who were there in 2015 who can also hand down, transmit their experience by remembering the good times and learning from the bad times how to improve the situation. Yes, I believe this is a historic moment, but there will be other historic moments. And maybe we'll no longer talk about history. It will just be something every day. And that in all World Cups, we'd be in amongst the top four. Yes, I would like to know what kind of game it will be tomorrow. Where can we lose? Where can we win it? We're expecting a very tight game tomorrow. The key will be rugby fundamentals, set pieces, if we turn up, if we manage to dominate those aspects of the game, these fundamentals, it will be a good game. The result will be tomorrow at 11 o'clock, but we will be there. A, a question in French. Without uh, Disrespecting you, a lot of observers are already seeing New Zealand and South Africa in a final. Are you using this to motivate your players? Does it irritate you? How do you see it? How do you perceive it? And have you discussed this in the group? Yes, of course we have. We know that a lot of people, and maybe everybody apart from us, see New Zealand in the final. But for us, that doesn't matter because every game starts nil-nil. We know 
that New Zealand is a very strong team and that they play very well and they they are favourites for this game. But for us, it's an opportunity. We will play them, we will face them down and afterwards as i said there are perceptions that we are saying uh, that we don't listen to we don't listen to things that are said outside of our camp we speak for ourselves and amongst ourselves and we'll see as frankie said we'll we'll see the result tomorrow but the only thing we wanted was to want is to give everything and to take the opportunity to play our best rugby and we'll see the result afterwards i'm not worried about that